Hey, get out of the hall! My style of discipline is to be fair and to treat all students the same. But the kids also know that when they break the rules and do it on a consistent basis, that I'm gonna be real tough. That's the sprinkler, isn't it? Yeah. Coach Lamb can be scary and intimidating. That's only if you deserve it. He's never just like, just scary for no reason. No way, no how are students allowed to leave campus to go to lunch in town. Now, right now, I'm going to meet with a student that left school to go eat lunch with, without permission, and so I've got to meet with her and find out why she did that and let her know that that's unacceptable. All right. What did I do this time? Well, what do you think you did? I'm not going to guess. You're not going to guess? No, I don't want to guess wrong. Do you think you've done more than one thing wrong? I don't, I don't want to guess something that y'all don't know about. Chrissy doesn't hide the truth. If you ask her a direct question, she will give you a direct answer. You started to leave campus to go to the grocery store. Correct. Right? Correct, OK. Well, just tell me what happened, honey. I was going to go get some food. The lunch food's disgusting. Like, they, they make us, they serve like, it looks like cat food, literally. Like, they serve nachos with the meat, and it looks like, like cat food. Like, something I wouldn't even feed my cat, though. You know you're not supposed to do that, correct? You should, you should have somewhere where someone can sign something so you know who's leaving and who's not. Because I'd be totally down for that. That means everybody's going to run to their cars right. and get to the food places, and that's a safety issue for us. We don't want anybody hurt. Have you eaten cafeteria food before? Yeah, you I have. have. Okay. And I, I didn't come to school and, for and a couple so of days because so I was clear. so sick. Okay, so we're clear. Yes, sir, instead of yeah, okay? Yes, sir. Right, thank you. Yes, sir. All right, so you have eaten and you couldn't come to school for a couple of days because you were sick? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you're certain it was cafeteria food that made you sick? I didn't eat anything else. I had to stay home for a couple of days, and I couldn't even figure out what it was. And I thought, what did, what did I eat? Uh, cafeteria food. Ding, ding, light bulb. So I stopped eating it ever since. I'd rather starve than eat cafeteria food. But you eat at home? Yeah. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. What we're going to do? We'll let you work in the cafeteria to see what goes on. How's that sound? I'm not going to fix cat food for everybody. You can just help them in the cafeteria and see what they do and see how they do it with what they have to work with. Is that good with you? Not really, but OK. OK, well, we'll do it anyway, because I think I think you'll find a whole new appreciation for what goes on. Maybe not. This is going to be interesting. It It'll sounds be... very interesting to me. Let's try it and see. OK, let's okay. do it. All right. But I want an assurance from you that you're not going to leave campus again. Scout's on her. Scout's on her? OK. Yes, sir. All right, thank you very much. Don't leave campus again, OK? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Go to class, baby. I don't think she'll leave campus to eat again. Bye. Bye-bye. If she tells you she won't, uh, I, I believe her, and I don't think she will. I'm not going to skip lunch again, but I'm still not going to eat the cafeteria food, because it's gross. It disgusts me. I think I'm going to puke right now, actually, thinking about it. 